G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today, will a metallic pigment paste work in the Larimar effect? I saw a post on my Facebook page uh, by the lovely Amy Brewster. Hi Amy, if you're watching. <laughs> uh, she, she did gold, so I'm going to try gold. I think it's just wonderful when I can get inspired by you guys. So it's just great. Right, um, now, same thing as always, white, dark, light. I'm using my chunky coaster mold. I'll put the link down in the description for you. I'm going to add some gold and some pink to the center. This one's from Color Passion. It's a gorgeous changing color. Uh, glitter, nice chunky glitter. I will add the link for Color Passion in the description below because this glitter is to die for. I just dropped something in there. All right, without further ado, let's get on to this. I'm really excited about trying a metallic gold. Never done it before. Um, so as usual, I've got my white sitting here. It's got my cast and craft in it. It's still nice and transparent. You can see through the stick. It's just like a skim milk, not opaque. So that's there. Now I'm going to go with magenta. This is quinacridone magenta from um, Holbein. It's an acrylic ink. I um, have no idea how much to put in. I just try some, try some, and and then see. I guess what it looks like. Now to make colours darker, sometimes I'll add a bit of black, but I know when I add black to the magenta, it sort of goes like a purpley kind of a shade. So it looks quite dark in there, but when you push it to the side, it, it's still quite light. I'm going to add another two. Let's see how that goes. I want it nice and dark. So this with the white mixture will go... A nice kind of a pinky color. Oh mm, gosh. See, even I still doubt myself when I'm adding colors because I'm not used to adding the pink as my dark color. You know, pink's usually my light color, and then like there's a blue or a purple or a green, a dark green that's my dark color, and then I add black to it. So, yeah, not exactly sure how many to add, but we'll just do trial and error and see. And see how it works. If it doesn't work, I'll just try again. All right, now, Color Passion Gold. Gold Passion. Um, again, I have no idea how much to use of this. Let's give it a good stir. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous gold. Look at that. Yeah, some golds are really like an antique -y kind of a greenish tone. This is a nice yellow, shiny. Let's stir that. I'm going to wipe the bottom. Oops. Now I'm going to put what's left on the top in there. I have no idea. I have no idea. I guess I'll just have to find out, won't I? I guess I'm going to have to add a lot more of it because I don't think it's as strong as, you know, an ink. I'm going to clean my stick off so that you can actually see what this is looking like. <laughs> see, you can't see it at all. <laughs> can't see it at all. All right, let me just clean that and then I'll add... Let's just, let's add a scoop, okay? There we go, a scoop. But like I said, I have no idea how much to add because I've never done this before. We will find out together, shall we? Um, I'm not sure if Amy's got um, a YouTube channel. I must ask her. I'm just gonna wipe that stick again so that I can see what color. Still really transparent, but then it might be okay. Oh gosh. Oh, all right, let's leave it. I don't want to make it too heavy. Okay, I still want it to float around, <laughs> but yeah, I have no idea. I do know that the light color needs to be quite light. And looking at it on the side there, it does look still quite light, doesn't it? Quite light, all right. Let's just do this, you guys. Let's just do it. 
and see how it goes. All right, everybody move out of the way. I'm still worried about this is not quite dark enough, but oh, I might add some more. Um, all right, let's tip that white in. Hope you guys aren't getting sick of the Laramars. I'm really enjoying it. And as I've always said to you, this is my hobby um, as well. It's my downtime. Um, and I'm enjoying the challenge. So I guess if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to watch it, eh? I mean, there's lots of other videos out there on YouTube. But if you are trying to learn the Laramar, like I am, you kind of watch every video out there <laughs> and um, to see what's, what to do. Oh, I'm a bit weary about this. You know what? I'm going to put just a tiny little bit of black in there. Oh, no, I probably shouldn't, but I'm worried about it. <laughs> it's probably not going to make any difference at all, is it? Stir it around in there. <laughs> I don't know whether it's made any difference at all. I mean, it does change it slightly to like a more of a purpley tone all right let's just do this and see what happens i don't think it's actually changed at all <laughs> what do you reckon do you think it's changed at all i don't think so all right let's just do it i'll just do it okay here we go if it doesn't work i'll just do it again hey find a middle and dump so hopefully it, it's dark enough that it's going to go under the white and the white will close in over the top, which looks as if it's doing. So that's a, it's a good sign. If it closes over like that, if your white closes over, then it's a good sign. All right. Now, let's give that a bit of a torch. Now, different resins work differently, obviously. Mine's a pretty thin resin. I've got a tiny little bit left in there for my glitter. It's a very thin resin. All right, here we go, gold. Now, you behave, okay? You do what you need to do. Please, gold. All right, find the middle. Dump. Ooh, that looks pretty. Got a tiny bit left in there. I don't want to overfill it, though. That looks so pretty. I use my stick. Don't use the black end. <laughs> it's got black ink on it. It's going to pull that into my little crystally areas there a little bit. I think that's good. Alrighty. So, um, and as usual, um, as I said, I'm using the Platinum Ultra Clear. I do 112 grams of A, 48 grams of B. I have got a tiny little bit of the gold still left in there that I haven't used. So just be careful you don't overflow your mould. You can get to this stage and then think, do I need any more? But I can see it's actually doming over the edges, so don't touch it. <laughs> do not fill it up anymore. All righty. Um, as per usual, I will be torching uh, every couple of minutes or every few minutes for the first 10 minutes or so. Um, I think the heat helps to move everything along. Really quick little torches though. You don't want to you don't want to burn your resin and you don't want to melt your mold. So I'm gonna put you on a time lapse. I'm gonna come back in about 45 minutes, maybe 40, because I don't want to leave it too long. Um, I should get that out of the way. Um, yeah, I don't want to leave it too long because then my middle starts to set. Alright, I will see you soon and we'll do the glitter center. Right, so uh, my camera got, I think, about 35 minutes through um, and then the battery died. So you got a little bit of a time lapse. And then when I came to put my glitter in, the centre had already set. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, it's. I guess it's been a little bit warmer today. 
um, and I've poured it quite deep got a little bit of overflow so I don't know maybe my timing was out anyway it was set so I couldn't get any glitter in there but um, I did with my with my glitter I didn't want to waste it so <laughs> I um, I poured it out onto some plastic um, which is which is good because then like it's still a bit soft now but tomorrow I'll be able to peel them off and then if I want to I can still stick it in the middle and uh, and do a top coat so that's that's what I do I don't want to waste my glitter because it's really pretty okay here we go so sides are still a bit soft but I am super super keen to see if this has worked because I've never done this before move that over there Okay, got quite a bit of overflow there. I will snip that off later on. Oh my gosh. I hope it's worked. <laughs> do you think it has? Like, do you think we're going to get white lacing on the other side? Or do you think it's just going to be a big white mess? Or it could just be a big gold mess? I'm just trying to think of the bad things that could happen to it. Yeah, could, could be anything. Or maybe it's worked. Maybe it's beautiful. All right, let's have a little look and see which way it's going to go. <laughs> oh, wow. It worked. It worked. I haven't got too much gold around here, but look at those colors. <gasps> I actually like that bit of sparkly gold in the center. It's kind of like... You know when marker powder spreads and makes those puffy, puffy looks. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty! I like those colours. And yes, I've got my lacing. It's some of them are quite long lacings, and then some. See, there's a little one there. This one's like that long, and there's another one there, and that one's. This, there's a few little ones, not not many. There's a few little ones, but basically they're quite long. Um, I'm still trying to work out why sometimes I get long lacing and then other times I get short lacing. Um, what I what my theory is, what I'm still working towards on my theory is, if you have a darker mix, like a a darker, well, just darker colours you tend to get the smaller lacing. And then when you get lighter colors, you get bigger lacing. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still working it out. Let me trim this up. Um, and then I'll take you around the other side of the table and we'll have a look at it in some different light, okay? Okay, so before we go for a little walk, I've just cut out one of these little glitter centers. It's still wet. I've just put it on. It's on its little piece of plastic. So I'll just leave it there. Just so that we can see whoa, what it would look like if I decided to go with the center. Okay, so you let me know what do you think if we put the center on because I can always add it later. Get off for now. <laughs> I can always add it later um, and just do a top coat, so that's not a problem. Okay. All right, let's have a look at this in different lights. There we go. That's the ring lights shining directly on it. So very bright. It's a bit, bit, bit too bright. It's not really that bright. And I'm going to walk around here and get away from those ring lights. Oh, look at the gold. Look at the gold. Look at the gold sparkle. Oh, look at it. There it is. It's a little bit sort of poking through on the sides there. Maybe I didn't add enough of the gold paste but look my first time I didn't know how much to add but I guess I could get away with it adding a little bit more now my theory behind big lacing and little lacing is I tend to get big lacing like this as in long lacing um, when my colors aren't dark enough I think the darker the color it kind of stops the lacing from spreading so much uh, I really don't know I'm still I'm still working that out still trying to work out how to get big lacing how to get small lacing there's just a different look for you that's without all the bright lights on it 
But uh, yeah, you let me know what you think. Which way you like. Do you like the big lacing like this? I have got some smaller ones in the centre there. Look, every time I do it, it's different. And I, it, it may well be because different colours that you use. Um, yeah, just, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm thinking, though, that it wasn't quite dark enough. And I did say to you, oh, I wonder if I should add a bit of black or a bit more of a magenta. So I probably should have added a bit more. Um, and But to test my theory, I'll have to do it again. <laughs> oh, 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 what about... <gasps> What about navy blue? What about blues and silver? What about navy blue and silver, you guys? Hey, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, that opens up a whole myriad of things I could do, different colours I could do for sure. But um, yeah, let's try blues and silvers, hey? But uh, probably have to try the, um, the gold and the pink again, <laughs> just to see, maybe put a little bit more gold in, add a little bit more colour. Um, maybe I could do like a, uh, like a darker, maybe like a red and a pink and a gold, something to make that a little bit darker. And uh, just to see if I can get some smaller lacing because I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's the reason that, Again, I'm not totally sure. So I was thinking uh, that because I haven't got any glitter in the center, I might just incorporate a little bit more gold around the edge because I've got a lot of gold in the middle and not much sort of around anywhere else. So I'm going to use my Deco Color Pen, which is my favorite metallic pen for doing this sort of thing. Make sure you give it a really good shake so that little ball in there moves around. Now, if you find that your little tip there has gone a bit sort of fluffy, you can just give it a bit of a haircut and bring it back to good. All right? Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm just going to go around the edge. You've seen me do this before. Now, it's up to you if you want to just do you know, the top of the edge or whether you want to go a little bit further and get some of those crystals as well. Um, I'm sort of going into the, into each little crystal so it's a little bit sort of higgledy-piggledy but if you don't want to do that you can just do a circle. I just think it looks more natural if I follow the actual shape of the piece. It's kind of like a geode isn't it really? That sort of natural kind of a shape. And if it stops sort of flowing easily, just give it another shake. Might colour in some of those little tips, make them a little bit thicker on some areas. But yeah, I just thought that would look, look pretty because there's quite a lot of gold in the centre. And I mean, there's a little bit of gold coming through the sides there, but not a lot. So I thought this would just tie it in nicely. But you let me know what you think. Feel free to use the comments down below, the little comment box. Oops, I've got a hair attached. I don't know where that came from. So what do you think? It looks better. Do you think it looks better? I think it looks lovely. Let's go around and make this area here a little bit thicker. So yeah, it's up to you, you know, how thick or thin you want to make your little line. I'd suggest doing a thin line first and then going back and looking at it and decide if you want to add any extra, like I am doing. Until you're happy with it. And that's basically it. This dries really fast. If you make a mistake, um, whoops, you will need to get some um, acetone um, or nail polish remover. And, uh, and wipe it off with that because it doesn't doesn't come off with you know alcohol spray or just a wipe look at that it is divine you can see how the gold is shimmering there around the edges it picks up the the shimmer in the middle let's see if I can go and show you the shimmer let's go and have a little look see if we can pick up the shimmer a little bit better for you Shimmer, shimmer. 
Look at that. I think that looks so pretty. Just finishes it off. But then that's just, that's my choice. <laughs> I like it. There you go. Oh, there's the gold. There it is. So definitely we'll be doing this again. I'm going to try navy and silver next. See how I go with that. But yeah, love it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. Take care, guys. Bye for now.